Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how to enable the RetroPie Manager on your Raspberry Pi running RetroPie 4.1 or higher. Now this is an experimental package. Before we get started, go ahead and back up your image. I'll leave a link in the description on how to do that. So what this allows us to do is to access our Raspberry Pi or our RetroPie system through a web browser. This is a web-based RetroPie Manager. We can monitor our system resources. So we have our file system here. We can see how much we have free, the CPU temperature, how many cores are being utilized, how much memory is left. We can add BIOSes right here. We just drop our files. And here's a list of the BIOSes required for different systems. It also gives us an MD5 checksum. So it's easier to find these online. Now you can't click on this and find it online. You'll have to download the BIOS like we always do from a site like possibly EMU Paradise and check it against the MD5 checksum to make sure it's the correct BIOS and it's going to work. We can add ROMs right here. We have a list of all of our emulators that are installed right now. Just go into Neo Geo Pocket. We can drop our files right here. You can also delete selected files. Logs. And if we go to the very beginning here, and if we go right here, we can read and edit the emulation station configuration file. Pretty cool. We can also edit the RetroArch configuration file directly from within a web browser. So let's move over to the Raspberry Pi. It needs to be connected online. I'm gonna show you how to install this from the experimental packages. And we'll come back and I'll show you how to access it through Chrome or whatever your favorite web browser is. Let's go ahead and get this installed and enabled. From your main menu, scroll over to RetroPie. Now your Pi is gonna to need to be connected online to install this, and it's also going to need to be on the same exact network that we're going to be accessing the RetroPie Manager through a web browser from. Scroll down to RetroPie Setup. Okay, from this menu here, guys, you need to make sure you're on the latest version of the RetroPie Setup script. In the gray box at the top left hand corner, we can see our version number, mine is 4.1.13. In order to get this high, you need to go to update RetroPie setup script. Now this is gonna work on 4.1.12 and higher. Update RetroPie setup script. And you should now be updated to the latest version. Scroll down to manage packages, manage experimental packages, we're going to scroll all the way down until we see RetroPie Manager. Right here, press OK. We're going to install from source. Now this could take a little while depending on your internet connection. Give it a little bit of time to finish up. Now that it's installed, we're going to go to Configuration and Options. Enable RetroPie Manager on boot. Yes. It will be started on next boot. Press OK. We're going to cancel. Now we're going to go to package help. So what we're going to do to access this is go to our favorite browser as long as the Pi is connected to the same network as the PC you're running the browser on and type in your IP address followed by port 8000. We're going to go back, 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 and we're going to exit RetroPie setup script. From here, we can see our IP if we go to show IP. Go ahead and grab your IP address, take a picture of the screen, write it down, you're gonna need it. After you have your IP, let's just restart emulation station one time. And now we can move over to our PC and access the RetroPie Manager from a browser. So I just have Chrome booted up here. I'm gonna go to the top and type in the IP address of my Raspberry Pi, followed by port 8000. I'm going to press enter. As long as you have everything set up correctly, you should find this menu here. You can go ahead and read through here, monitor your system, read and edit the emulation station configuration file. You can also do the retro arch configuration file, autostart.sh, manage all supported BIOSes, manage ROM files for emulated systems. So if we want to add some ROMs, I'm just going to snap this over here. I have a few NES ROMs 
right here and I'm just going to find my NES folder and take a few of these, drop them right there. They are now uploaded to my Raspberry Pi. So that's pretty much it guys. After you add BIOSes and ROMs through here, you'll need to do a reboot on your Raspberry Pi for them to show up. But other than that, this is a cool little feature built in. This has always been part of Recall Box for as long as I can remember and I always utilized it. I had it sitting over on my screen to check temperatures while I'm playing, core usage, all kinds of good stuff like that. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe because I got a lot more coming. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.